what kind of processes will make that we're using DV in the sidechain model? Uh, why are our sidechain different? So we, we already went through that, but we'll basically go into detail about that. And then we'll finish by talking about the next, the next milestone. So as we already said, the sidechains are brought to us by a partner and this partner, um, is definitely has its own milestone. So we'll be happy to communicate about that. Um, so. Do you want, do you want to start maybe Rob? I think we talked a lot about the DV wallet. Yeah. Um, so it's hard to kind of like start with an overarching thing, but we'll repeat again that the DV, Divi side chains are how we're bringing utility to Divi, yeah. um, Divi like Bitcoin, like, uh, Litecoin in and of itself only has the utility of being a, you know, a cash system kind of thing, you know, an exchange of value. Um, and not much else. And the cool thing Ethereum brought was like, hey, we can do programmable things on blockchain. Um, and then we all kind of agree that almost all blockchains from that point on, with a couple of exceptions, went about the same process by which you have smart contracts developed by some centralized people doing, uh, performing its function within a centralized uh, platform. Uh, it's only decentralized in that Ethereum itself is decentralized. Same for same for um, Polygon and so forth, and any, all these smart contract platforms. Uh, and and that model is, you know, it was neat, and it was and it, actually it took them a while a while to figure out what you do with this with this technology. They got it, I think. There's a lot of people doing a lot of things with it. Um, but then you get into things about scalability um, and load and how the first time for me was CryptoKitties. All of a sudden, all the fees went skyrocketing. Nobody wanted to move funds anywhere because it was all expensive. We've seen it now multiple times on Ethereum. It's one of the major uh, business points for Polygon in that, hey, it's, it's just like Ethereum, but it's cheaper until everybody uses that. It's not a different technology. It's just where people are doing things. Uh, Bitcoin just had it with runes and, and ordinals, same things, fees skyrocketed. And so if you are having your, your whole product based on a smart contract on one of these platforms, and all of a sudden the fees go through the roof, you know, you're, you're kind of, you're doing something serious and, it becomes kind of dead in the water, uh, at least for the time being, but that time being can be months. So we see side chains as the way as, as well, one of the features of side chains is to combat is to combat that. So when you want to do a project, whatever it is, um, you do it on a side chain and therefore the popularity of a different side chain doesn't affect what you're doing on your side chain. So if I'm doing, uh, asset tracking on my side chain. I've got a business around following drugs through a supply chain. I do not want some meme, popular meme, uh, destroying all the costs that's, uh, that is associated with what's happening on my, on my side chain. So that's one of the reasons why we, we look at side chains as a, an overall benefit. 